Iconic Overview Paint, and now we will move on to Brand First Generic. What the Brand First Generic page does is separates the search queries from branded terms, terms that include your brand name, and generic terms, terms that do not include the brand name. Let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is in the top left corner is click Add a Page and then add your table, which is found underneath, add a chart. Now we need to build our data source. Make sure you have site impressions selected. This will give you the available fields of average position, so you can see how ranking, um, ranking for branded and generic terms. You will need to create a new field in order to get our dimension um, of branded versus generic. So our formula is going to be a regular expression case when match. We're going to be adjusting query. Um, and then here you will include um, all variations of your brand, brand name. Um, and separate get this green uh, check mark down here when the formula syntax is valid and then name your field name something that's going to for internal purposes that will make sense for you uh, and click save you will see this calculated field now as an option underneath your fields so then you can create uh, your dimension You'll want to edit the title because that's what your header up here is going to be. And then our metrics, we're going to do, um, we want to know how many are indexed on Google. So query, uh, impressions, clicks, site, click through rate, and average position. vertical dotted blue line you can adjust so that you get your full right so that's the end of step one for the branded first generic page of our SEO report